All right, what's up, you guys? As always, welcome back to another, well, OU-ish battle, really, <laughs> against Zack. And um, I mean, I like this team, even though we have a um, potential new Uber in. Um, oh, what's it called? Not Session, the other one. <laughs> but besides that, I think this looks alright, and the mailman looks to be very threatening. If I get everything right early. Um, which, by the way, kind of speaks volumes for that it could be problematic. So I'm going to start with Malekith, because um, besides Yardos, I think it has a decent matchup versus a lot of these mons. Because even like last year, while intimidating, um, I have a hard time believing it can Oko me at least from, from full. So that said, Sax, as always, no. I was going to say, good, good luck, right? That's... <laughs> <laughs> I'm stumbling. PokemonLab.com. That's um, that's problematic. Question is: Intimidate or Moxie? It feels like a Moxie. So we're stone edging here. Dragon Dance. Dragon Dance. Yes. 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 Or depending on, but yes. Connect this. Hell yes. Piss off, mates. Piss off. <laughs> you don't fuck around with the whack. <laughs> I'm just telling you, man. There's no way. <laughs> oh, that was greedy. I don't know about that play. Look, if you want to use Salamence with Dragon Dance lead, you probably want to sash it. Another Pokemon lab. The gross. The gross shiny wearing the thatch. Guess we bone around you. What can he do? Ice punch maybe? Ice punch. Should stomach this, which should do at least over 50. And bone orang should kill. Sorry buddy. That's not a switching. <laughs> you fuck around with the whack, you get whacked. Should probably nick him in the whack from here on out. So, now Marowak transform himself from an absolute breaker to a sack play, depending on his decision here. He must be thinking Crimson. Ah, like that should have been your switching every time. And it's not Moxie. It is not Moxie. Question is, if he dragon dances, then I'm in trouble. If he decides to attack me, then I force him out. If I were him, you know, I probably wouldn't risk another dragon dance and just try to take me out. Yes, so we force him out here, but I can only do that play once. Unless he scarfs, then we have another, another game ahead of us. You do not like this matchup, do you? Who? I'll be, I'll be honest, buddy. Neither do I. Let's see. Brings in PokemonLab.com. Oh, yeah, you had that one too. I knew that. So, sending in the mailman, right? Cetrion kind of brings it home too. But the main line can stomach at least an earthquake. Let's find out. Do not like this. Stone Edge. That's wuss. Should take it. That's wuss. I should do that real well. Let's see. The mons that are here. Blast here is probably one looking kind of problematic. So I'm gonna abuse my blunder support. He could be carrying a fire blast. And if he does, then that's also problematic. But when a dynamic punch will either get a mon of his confused or give me plus two speed. And quite frankly, I can do both. Outrage. Oof. Oof. And miss. Yes! 
plus two baby. And he's locked into that, so I guess we'll take him out then. Hell yeah, buddy. <laughs> Got him. Oh, the rock skin. A rocky helmet? No. So now we'll get a plus one tag two. So I'm looking, I'm looking to be beast boosting the mailman. So I think if I were him, I'd probably bring in Yardos and uh, stress play to take me out. And anything else, I probably can KO. But I definitely cannot KO this. So ice punching here just to get as much damage in there as possible. Um, plus one, I mean, it should do alright, but it's not a kill. Bounce. Ooh. He can always miss, though. I mean, at this point, I'm... Yeah, he can miss. 15... I'm backing this on 15%. 15, 15, 15. Damn it. You know what? Mailman did exactly what I wanted to do. Just really hoped. Ah. Like, I was leveling. What what type of combination do I want this mod to have? But ah, it wouldn't have worked. It wouldn't have mattered in the long run. So I'm going to send an error class here. Force him out. Or either he sack play this. Um, yes, well, let's see. Blast here is gonna be super annoying for me, naturally. But he should sack play this. No, no, he isn't. He isn't. Go into montdiscord.com. Let's see this. He could be a salt vest then. Yeah, that's an assault vest variant for sure. Um, that makes sense. Do I even have a switch in for this? Or am I like a sitting duck? Never felt dumber, but I'm gonna send it arrows. Depending on what he wants to do, I think I can pressure this. I mean, Fire Blast looks alright, Future Side could be pressuring. Just as I Tassel Crash and misses, which sucks for him. Future Side here. Just to really have in on a potential timer. Let's see. Brings in Semicenta. And I think... No. It's a Dauntless Shield variant. So he gets the defense. That means he is... Let's think about this. These guys usually carry Crunch, right? Like, I don't want to do a teleport and that being the wrong play. So, I'm gonna hard switch in Cetrion. Because I don't think anything else here makes sense. I don't even know what this guy do. I know it doesn't get body press, which is kind of nice. Uh, but it should be steel and fighting. Let's see. Crunch. Yeah. So, like, I... Probably the right call, not risking that. Next turn, the future side will head off. He's only fighting. I, I want to look at this guy. Wait, Dauntless Shield. So he got the boost, but he's not in his shield form. How does that work? I have every reason to think this is misgend. We draw status fair to Crimson, which I believe we got a KO on right now, which is phenomenal. I'll take it. Future sign, future sign, boom! That mon is so problematic. Jaros could probably sweep me if he wanted to. Kinda of glad he didn't. I mean, I'm preserving Marowak for all the wrong reasons, aren't I? Let's see, what would you decide to bring in? Brings back Semicenta. Go 
Because the way I see it, there is no way he can hurt, like hurt me really. Besides it being phenomenally fat, is the on head neutral? Yeah, it does a right as a crit, <laughs> and it gets the flinch. Fine, because I only need to kind of bring him into range. Though the misted range is something I want to preserve. Keeps Arn Hedden. Let's see, he can't get those 20% forever. Nice. Alright. So I think we pretty much killed him here. If he doesn't keep flinching me, that is. That this is. Damn it. I might actually like have a different option to go about this, but I really just want the damage in here. <laughs> I want that draining kiss to make sense. Though he might actually consider that too. I mean, Arnhead is his best play, and it does a fair amount of damage. Just the 20% seems to be so ridiculously high. Ooh yeah, boy I shot Hell yes. <laughs> Centrion just doing Centrion stuff. And we love it. Training kiss again. I mean if he flinch fists me one more time, then it Yes, just thank God. <laughs> so versus Glastrier, I clearly want to do one of two things, but Nature of Matters I think makes most sense, and I'm pretty sure I have a Dynamax on my hand, and um, I'm pretty sure Glastrier's speeder is quite low. don't know how low it is, I just know that it is low. So I'm a bit worried whether or not my Marowak can outspeed it. So we go for Nature's Madness here. In theory, kill this one. Let's see. High horsepower. What will it do? Oh. Oh, buddy. Yeah, this is a wrap. I think the mailman kinda kinda did its thing though. I'm very happy with the mailman. As everybody should be. But I am absolutely second R class here. Now I hope it goes for another high horsepower. We already know this is an assault vest variant. Um so I'm gonna bank in on that focus blast to either connect or leave in the kill to uh, Marowak if he outspeeds. So it might be a bit on the greedy side. But who wouldn't be? Talking about greedy. So he went from, hey, I'm giving up to, all right, let's do this, buddy. You know who I am? I am a Glastrier. I am, I am a monster of another proportion. And actually, probably has a really decent HP right now. Let's see, Focus Blast. Oh, oh no. <laughs> okay, so he will be, he will get his Grimnay. And um, I need to think. Do even Marowak have a chance of actually outspeeding? Well, I have a lot of monster outspeeds anyway, so I'm not like in the worst position, but I want to wrap it up with a whack. For all the right reasons. So, as long as, sure, it has been a septile week, I'm sure this is my second game, but. And so far, I, I will be. I won't deny it. It might be a septile week, but Marowak has been performing way above what it was supposed to do. And uh, I could really like it more for it. Now I really hope Glacier isn't faster. I think it's base 30. I'm pretty sure it's base 30. Marowak is base 40. And I am invested. So I don't think I should be too worried here. Also, just Dynamax Marowak because I can Dynamax it. 
I know I could just go for a safe knockoff and not get this phenomenal visual of Marowak being Marowak, but I wanted it. Badly. Come on, please tell me you're faster. Yay! <laughs> there we go. So this act very much GG. Um, a lot of um, a lot of gen things there. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about that. But with that said, guys, all the time of course watching. The stack, thanks so much for the game, and make sure as always to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Until then, of course, as always, guys, take care. Bye.